Hello, my name is Epi and welcome back to Greedfall. So, we returned the missing tablets and we reached a new level. So, let's start this episode with spending the... Ooh, I do have two remaining skill points. That's fantastic. So... Let's use it for focused alchemical fire. Increases the damage dealt by the alchemical preparation of elemental damage. Cool, I think I'm using this. So let's do this. And here we get a alchemical earthquake. With the loss of balance caused by the alchem... Okay, cool. This is fantastic. So we, we boost all the various things and then we can get a bomb. Throws a bomb that hits all enemies in a large area. Cool. That's amazing. Also, I can get a new attribute. I could get two agility level five, which I guess would be the best thing to do. I mean, I am using the the pistol from time to time, but I think when I max out the agility attribute, then I can focus on accuracy for, well, the next few levels, I guess. Next point level 25, so this will take some time. So yeah, let's do this. Let's let's go for agility again. Very nice. All right, now I should wield the best swords ever in the game. And um, yeah, I can now leave this village. I can leave Eden and move all the way around there to yeah, see what's going on. I think that's the village... Petrus has identified and um, yeah we we now need to see what's going on there and hopefully hit, help the natives instead of helping Talemi or at least help those factions <laughs> this would be good enough okay do I need to move yes I basically need to move straight ahead just follow this path and uh, somewhere around here should be some nests. Nests of some uh, creatures. I'm not quite sure how they look like. So maybe we find also these creatures. That would be cool. And um, yeah, then we can also make progress with the main quest. I hope this time we are not getting teleported back to where we came from, so back to New Serena or so. Instead we can hopefully then continue with our with our mission. So do I need to... Not yet, I need to follow the path or I need to continue following the path. But I could also just follow the... the compass. Okay, there's I guess something I haven't looted but that's fine. Hey dear! Stay calm. What is this? What are these jerks doing here? Okay, I guess we have to talk to them. You are from the continent, are you not? You are different than the people from here. Indeed. I am from the congregation of merchants. My name is Desarde. To whom do I have the privilege? Sister of Fizia, envoy of Telene, by the grace of the Illuminated. Enchanted, the Mother Cardinal has tasked me to investigate the activities of this village. She also sent me here, to be your second. What excellent news. You cannot imagine how much comfort that brings me. How might I help you? Uh... You can't help me? I don't want your help? 
Speak about the heretic investigation. How has your mission fared up until now, sister? Not very well, I'm afraid. I haven't been able to get much from these villagers. Their chief and their priest are evasive when questioned. As for the other natives, their behavior can be quite odd. They'll spend hours just staring into the void. But as soon as I come close, they chase me away. They frighten me, I must admit. There is a heavy veil of evil here. I feel it, but I'm not able to find from whence it comes. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. Anything else? Um, yeah, how have you arrived here? What happened then? Have you been here for a long time? Since the beginning of my investigation. A few weeks, perhaps. Although it feels like months. I'm not particularly fond of the wild, and I find this place unsettling. I see. Anything else? Ah, uh, no thanks. Be all, Sister Ephesia. Thank you. Alright, so... We once again got drawn to some conversation we don't want it to be part of <laughs> but all right that's fine let's go to the village and talk to them and here we find the last camp for this region which is nice all right so we arrived in the main village question the village right i need to question both that's interesting but okay let's do this let's start with that guy here hi Good day. Are you the wise man of this village? Burd tir du mad renaixe. Oi and the donegad. Yes. I would like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. The people of your island are constantly asking questions, yet reject any answers that displease them. Questions have no value when one already claims to know the answers. But it is your case. You believe you know the answers. You seek only their echo. Answer your own questions. At least then the answers will please you. And we shall be done with your foolishness. That is not what I... Qua awelemseg. May your answers fill your day with bounty. All right, uh, Sierra, what... What do you say about that? Why haven't you intervened and talked to that guy? All right, then I guess we have to talk to the the chief of that group. Hi. It's me. Bird tear to mud on all Menawi. I am Derdra, daughter of Enora, daughter of Rowena, Mal of this clan. Is it you who helped my warriors discover what the men of the Red Sun were doing? Indeed. Then I thank you. It's probably because you are an on all Menawi that you are different from the other Renaixe. What do you seek? Um, well, I need to ask you about your beliefs, all right. Why, why do I need to do all those things? I mean, I'm completely fine with what you're doing, my friends. Can you tell me something about your beliefs? We believe that we are part of an everything, and that life depends on a balance that comes from this everything. Our strength is drawn from that which we protect, all that surrounds us. And that which surrounds us feeds and protects us in return. All right. What can you tell me about your rituals? Ah, I have heard this question before. You sound like the mind shaker woman. 
The rituals are the business of the Donegada, not of the Renoixe. Anything more? Um, well, I can't ask the, all the other questions. That's weird. Speak about the investigation. Concerning this story about a cult. Enough! Enough questions! I have nothing more to say. All right. Well. So I guess we need to talk to more people. So. Let's talk to those who pray to this tree. Hi. Leave me be. Even your thoughts are loud and break my peace. What's, what's your problem? I mean, I'm... I'm friendly with your faction or so. I'm helping you. Why why you refuse to talk to me? Can't you leave us alone? Monisanaik. Alright. Traitor. An Anolmenawe does not wear the dress of the strangers. Do I now need to wear their wardrobe? Hi. Birtir to Madrenaikse. Good day. Do you want something? Um, I'd like to know more about your cult. Could you answer a few questions? Questions, questions. It is a word that you adore. Let us play a game. If you answer my questions, I will answer yours. If it's the only way to get answers, then let's play. I am pleased. We will have fun. But beware, no lies. What name is given the place from where you come? Well, let's answer her. I come from Serene, a grand city on the continent of Gekei. Really? It is possible that you come from there, but I believe that this is not your land. Your turn. All right, let's ask about the missionaries. Tell me about the missionaries that came here. The Moine Shakers came here to our home and tried to convince us to abandon our ways. No one wanted to listen to them, so they finally decided to leave. I Very suppose good. that they were full of disappointment, or angry, or simply tired. And then the others arrived. The woman is truly strange. She is aggressive and spies on us at every turn. I would prefer that she leaves as well. Let's try something else. Are you on Olmenawi with your land? Or did you inherit your link from your parents? Uh, let's answer her. I'm not bound. Or at least I haven't done anything in particular to bind myself. Then it was your parents. One of them at least must have been Donegad. Your turn. Alright, let's talk about um, the village. Your village seems different than the others. Why is that? Each village is different than the others. It is the reflection of those who live in it and of all that surrounds it. Vedlug. Is the village of the lightning struck wood in your language? Why do you call it that? It is said that there was once a great fire that burned all the surrounding woods caused by a storm. But one tree that burns nourishes a new tree, greener and stronger than before the forest returns. We are like her. Even wounded, we rise again, stronger than we were before. Our warriors are known for this by all clans. They fear us. It was fun. More than with the woman who makes light. She did not want to play. What? That's all? That's all I get from... Alright. So I guess I haven't asked the right question. I think I need to ask more about the cult or so, or their rituals. Hi, do you talk to me? Birtir to Mad, Anal Manawi. What do you want? Um, let's ask about his rule. You're different from the others. What is your role in the village? Different? Why? Well, for one, you answer me when I speak. You others, when we don't answer you, you start digging for answers everywhere else. I am a gatherer. I hunt a little. I do my part for the life of the village. 
All right, let's ask straight for the rituals. What can you tell me about your rituals? Our rituals? Nothing. Nothing at all. They do not concern me. I am not a Denegad. Even you. You should be able to tell that. Why you bother me with these questions? I am only a gatherer. Go and bother someone else. All right, let's uh, ask about the demon. This question will seem strange to you, but do you know anything about a demon? A demon? A dark spirit, if you prefer. No. There is no such thing as dark spirits. Your question is not strange. Foolish, perhaps. All right. Um, let's ask about the beliefs. What can you tell me about the beliefs of your village? The beliefs of the village? That is a strange question for an Onol Manawi. Our beliefs are the same as those of the other clans. We believe in the earth that carries us and feeds on our dead. In the rain that quenches us and drowns us. In the beasts that feed us and in those that eat us. I do not know what more I can say to you. Everyone shares these beliefs. Very well. So let's ask about the missionaries again. Tell me about the missionaries that came here. Those who wear the symbol of the sun on their clothing. When they came, they spoke about their bright and shiny god. They told us we were wrong. Said that nature was just nature and not to be worshipped. These men know nothing. We ignored them. They finally left and then the woman came to us. She sniffed around everywhere, asking many questions just like you. I was told that she tried to enter my own home. I even saw her trying to follow me in the woods. She must be careful. It is easy to get lost in the woods. Or cross paths with wild beasts. Well, I'm not like her. I'm definitely not like I'm her, sleeping. my friend. Thank you for your help. All right, now we need to talk to the strange lady again, unfortunately. I'd prefer I could avoid that, but guess to make progress of the main quest, I'm, I'm forced to do so. So uh, let's see. Let's see if we can maybe get rid of her or so. That would be nice. Hey, you, strange lady. Anything new? No. The investigation has gone stale. The villagers won't even engage in conversation with me now. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. I managed to exchange a few words with some villagers, but I admit they don't seem keen to talk. And did they tell you anything worth sharing? I know little more about their beliefs. They worship nature and do not intend to change. It is certainly different from the luminous faith, but it's hardly demonic worship. Yet, there's something strange about this village. One of the villagers that spoke with me seemed truly worried. On edge, even. I think I know of whom you speak. A man always looking over his shoulder. He often sneaks out of the village like a thief. I attempted to follow him, but he always eludes me. I tried to get into his hut to see if he was hiding anything. But someone was always there. Then we should give it a try. Perhaps we'll fare better. That man was looking uneasy. He must be hiding something. Maybe in his house. He doesn't look inclined to let us in. We'll have to distract him. We could break one of his pots. That would keep him busy. Or we could ask for help. I can pretend to be clumsy, but we'll have to work fast and it will only work once. Alright. So... Yeah, now no, we need to trick this poor man. Divert the worried man's attention. I don't really want to wear, break his pots. So... Do we have someone else we can ask? Ah, we can ask maybe the the nice lady that likes to play a game with us. Maybe she can help us. Hey you. Do you want something? Let's play a game again. Might I ask you a few questions about the villagers? 
More questions? You really like this game. You really do. If we could avoid the... Very well. But be brief then. Because it is not good fun. Alright, let's ask about the nervous man. What can you tell me about that man down there? I spoke to him and he seemed... nervous. Don't hold it against him. The people of the light have already questioned us. That makes him distrustful. He is a man of few words, but he is devoted to the village and listens to the Dene God with great attention. He is a gatherer, but everyone knows he wants to become the next Voglendike, the next servant of Dene God. All right, and where's his home? Where does this man live? Down there. His dwelling is right in front of my own. I would like to take a look inside. What? Why would you want to do that? It is his home. You have nothing to do there if you are not invited. Uh, let's ask for her help. I really must go inside. I need to clarify something. If you can help us. This request is strange. I know it is for you as well. But we must prove that these suspicions cast upon our village are not true. These people of Teleme will not give up their search without this. Hmm. Very well. I shall distract him, but be discreet and very quick. And be respectful of what you find there. Be good. Sure. Alright, so where do I need to go? I think you need to go up there. It's good that we have Siora because she she helped us to convince her, which is nice. La di la di la. <laughs> All right, so, ooh, this painting is frightening, evoking war, a massacre, a bloodbath under the likeness of a grimacing face. All right. Oh no, what's this that? This is incredibly morbid. I wonder what sort of spirit could be venerated in this way. This sort of offering and its seals resembles nothing that we call upon in our rituals. I have never seen anything like it. It is a troubling sight. Yep, it is. So, um... I don't really want to take... Ah, there, there are more things. I don't want to take so many things from him. The Sengedin Anadas are known for being terrifying on the battlefield. Perhaps they wear masks such as this one. I will admit that it's rather ghastly, but I'm almost certain that the warriors of this island wear these things in battle. I have never seen anything like this before. This is very violent and bloody. Deirdre's clan has always been a bit different. We should go tell Sister Aphesia about it. She will have some advice for us. Why do we need to talk to her about it? Can't we talk to some other natives or so? Why, why do we need to discuss those things with Teleme? I don't want to do this. <laughs> I want to change the quest. I just want to do something else. Well, not something else. I, I like this quest, but I don't want to do it for that faction. All right, strange lady. Did you learn anything? No, nothing more. Were you able to get inside the nervous man's hut? I was able to sneak into the hut of our mystery man. And what did you discover? Some troubling things. A ritual mask, a rather morbid altar, and a fresco depicting a massacre. By the enlightened. To think these unholy things were so near. Finally, the proof we need that there's a blood-worshipping cult here. They cannot perform their heinous pagan rituals in the village. And I'm certain that it's where our nervous friend sneaks off to. I fail to find where he goes. But you have already proven more competent than I. I shall try. Hopefully he won't lead us into a trap. Thank you for your help. And good luck. All right. We should wait until nightfall and follow him. It is nightfall. <laughs> Just. If you have noticed it, my friend. Mm. 
So where do I need to hide? Somewhere over there, all right. Here we could hide and wait. We would be able to see where this sleepless boy goes during nightfall. Wake up, Greenblood. He's here. Discreetly. Where, where is she? Is he? Wait, is he? Is he? Hi. Oh, 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 he's running. He's running. Oh no, they're bad. This is bad. Shh. But he's fine with the bats apparently. Can I circumvent those bats? Oh, not really. This is problems. Don't have time, come on, come on, my friends. Stupid bats. <laughs> All right, strange sanctuary, okay. Yeah, I'm discreetly following him. How much do we need to follow him? Do we need to approach him now? Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. No. no, 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 don't, don't, don't kill him, don't kill him. Stop, stop hurting him. Why have you... Oh. You two are so stupid. Why? I said not engage. I said run away. Why have you killed him? Why? Just why? You are so stupid. happening you are so pale did the lightning struck tree speak to you in a way I, I saw many images they were so real as if I was the tree itself do tell this vision is surely the key to the portal I was this tree and my branches were shaken by a storm so strongly that they hurt terribly. The heavens caught fire several times and I felt the lightning strike and pierce me through and through. A sinister warmth took hold of my entire body in an instant and flames began to devour me. Life left me. All was calm and I had a taste of cinder in my mouth. In spite of this, I continued to feel and the rain began to fall on my roots. And at the very heart of my being, I felt the sap begin to flow again. A shoot appeared on my darkened roots. Then the vision dissipated. I have never 
experienced anything like it before. All right. Um, yes. So this is really why I don't really. This, this is another example why I find this sneaking mechanic in Greedfall is pretty bad. I mean, I, I like good sneaking games where the sneaking sneaking mechanic is well elaborated, works well, and so on. But here in this case, I wasn't quite sure what this dude is doing. So I thought, okay, maybe I need to approach him. Then he saw me and I wanted to escape. But these two uh, followers decided, hey, let's just ignore me running away. Let's just kill him. Let's just finish him off. So um, yeah, not, not so pleased with that outcome because I, I wanted to just follow him. But uh, well, it happened. No, no. Um, so, yeah, let's have a quick look at uh, natives. We are still friendly with the natives. We are suspicious with all the others. Uh, but at least we are friendly with the natives, which is good. Uh, still, I found this a little bit bad. Is there another way to... No, no, don't mark or something. Yeah, discreetly follow the nervous man. Yep, that's what I wanted to do. What this was, what I, I was about to do. But uh, move custom marker. So, uh, but yeah, thanks to you, this mission or this operation was was a failure because you you just refused to run away. <sighs> Anyways, we are at the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you will be joining me next time. Thank you so much for watching. Until then, my name is Abby. See you!